Good day viewers, you are welcome. Here we have a nice functional equations given that f of t plus 7 equals 4 plus 5t plus t squared. And what is f of t? So let's solve this problem using two different methods. So for this function, we are giving the domain of this to be equals t plus 7. Here is the domain of this. And where t here is a member of all the real numbers. And we want to reduce this t plus 7 to only t. How can we solve it given this output? The output of this is in form of a quadratic 4 plus 5t plus t raised to the power of 2. And to do that, by considering the first method, so let's call this one method 1. Given that f of t plus 7 equals 4 plus 5t plus t raised to the power of 2. Then we have to factorize this one. So by factorizing this, we know this is the sum of this quadratic and that here is the product of this. So we look for two numbers that the sum will be 5 and the product will be 4. So here we have f of t plus 7 equals, so if we choose 4 plus 1, 4 plus 1 equals 5. And if you say 4 multiplied by 1, that is 4. So which means this satisfied. Then we write the first one as 4 plus, instead of 5, we change it to 4t plus t. So 4t plus t, it gives us 5t then plus t raised to power of 2 so i just cancel this t raised to power of 2 then by grouping we have 4 plus 40 this in bracket plus also we we'll group this as t plus t squared so after grouping them we have this what is common is 4 by factoring out 4 we have 4 bracket Divide this one by 4, we get 1. Plus, divide this one by 4, we have t. Then plus, let's take out t from here. Taking out t, we are left with 1 plus t. Then 1 plus t, repeat in the bracket. Then let's take 4 and uh, t together with this plus. We have 4 plus t in bracket, the open bracket. We take any of this, which is 1 plus t. So and we shouldn't forget that everything here is equivalent to t plus 7. Since we have factorized this, having these two factors of the quadratic above, then we are trying to manipulate this as this is t plus 7 as the domain. And here we have 4 plus t and here is also 1 plus t. We need t plus 7. Uh, these are not looking as this. Then the next thing is to try and manipulate this. By manipulating these two sides, we need t plus 7. Suppose we have t plus 7 already, and we need something to take out from this that will give us 4 plus t. And what is that? It is just when we subtract minus 3 from this. Minus 3 plus t plus 7, this gives us uh, 4 plus t and uh, we close this and open bracket as well we need t plus 7 as well but it was initially 1 plus t then we have to subtract um 6 from it so minus 6 plus t plus 7 so it gives us 1 plus t then we replace every single t plus 7 with t therefore we are going to have f of t which equals minus 3 plus t then open bracket minus 6 plus t then we can just write this thing properly as this equals t minus 3 and this also t minus 6 and by expanding this one further we are going to have t multiplied by t that is t squared minus if this t multiply minus 6, we are going to have minus 6. And minus 3 times t, we have minus 3t. Then everything becomes minus 9t. Then plus 
minus 3 times minus 6. This gives us plus 18. And this is the value of f of t. This is the first method and how simple it is. Let's solve this with another method. For the second method, let's call this one method 2. Suppose I replace this t plus 7. If I let t plus 7 to be equals n, for instance, then I will make t the subject of the formula. Here becomes uh, t will be equals n minus 7. So if t equals n minus 7, then we have to substitute this back into the given function as the domain has changed to n. Therefore, we have f of, instead of t plus 7, we change it to f of n, then equals 4 plus 5 into bracket of 5t becomes, uh, we have 5t there, then t has been given as n minus 7. 5 into bracket of n minus 7, then plus, we have t squared, which is n minus 7 squared. So after having all this, we are going to have this equals 4 will be there plus expanding this one out. 5 multiplied by n, this gives us 5n minus 5 times minus 7. That gives us minus 35. Then plus expanding n minus 7 squared. We are going to have n squared minus 14n plus 49. So this is what we have for this. Then we have to combine the like terms. What and what are equals are the same. Here we have 4 and here we have minus 35. And here is plus, plus 39. We have plus 49 here. Then we have plus 5n minus 14n. They are also the same. Then plus n squared, which is only one day. Then after having this, so we try and subtract everything here. So if you say 4 minus 35, that gives us minus 31. And minus 31 plus 49 is there. Plus also 4, 5n minus 14n. This gives us minus 9n. Then plus n squared. So after having this, we are going to have minus 31 plus 49. So this gives us 18 minus 9n plus n squared. Then by changing n to t, we are going to have f of t equals 18 minus 9t plus t squared. And if we like, we can just replace this thing as t squared minus 9t plus 18. So this is how I solve this problem in two different ways. See you in the next class. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye.